Wake up and and thank the Lord that I'm still alive Cause it's really hard, just hope your niggas ride By the look of things, some niggas won't come out the dark Yeah, that's real life Fuck Jamie, my people Django in real life And in the midst of things, we dream of the bigger life Sports cars and fucking bitches the whole night Wish I could sit here and say my childhood was so nice It costs money to pull the fun, I pay all the prices I go overpriced, fuck being overnight Hey guys, welcome to another show of I Collect Thrift. Right here next to me is Lebo Mahabani, who is a very interesting person. And yo, like, I'm excited to have him on the show because, whoa, yo, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. How are you, Lebo? I'm good on yourself. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I want you to tell me about yourself today outside the conversations we always no, have. Not. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to ask you, who are you and what do you do? Mm. I'm Lebu Mahabani. Uh, I sell clothing, I style, uh, I run a vintage, vintage store, uh, and I'm a socialite and a creative as well. Yeah. Woo! Shout out! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's a socialite? I like, I like, I like being out. I don't like messing out on things, like especially when you live in the city. So, I like seeing as much as I can. Mm. Not really, really. When I say socialize, not only about going to the clubs and everything else. Just like being out, you know, meeting new people all the time. Like right now, we're socializing. Yes, I met new people. So yeah, it could be anything. So, do you think that inspires you, or? Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, just being around different people, different characters. Uh, that shit definitely needs to inspire you, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've done a number of collaborations, but I'd like you to touch on one. Uh, yeah. Hunting for cakes. Do you? What was the collaboration about? And um, yeah. Do you think it's that one collaboration that put you on the map, or? Mm, nah. But I'll tell you about it. So Hunting for Kicks was a collab with my business page, uh, Josie Vintage Plug. So they were doing a Hall of Fame for NBA jerseys. Oh. So I had a collection, uh, MK Fresh had a collection, the guy who runs Hunting for Kicks. And then we just put pieces together and had an exhibition. And then NBA hit us up and wanted us to do a lookbook with everything we had. So I just hit up like, it wasn't, I didn't even hit up models, I just hit up like, a lot of the stylish female friends I know for it, and then we just put together a look. But in terms of like it putting me there, I think my work, my 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 work put me there. I think my work speaks for itself. Before then, that is just I think when you work speaks for itself. Before then, that is just I think when you put your brand together with a, an existing brand that's already existing in terms of street culture. But like I think I've been doing my thing. Mm, I really Before like that, what yeah. you guys are doing for the culture, honestly. Like, yeah, shout out. you guys are doing the most. You yeah, are the culture. No, no, we not. Nah, there's there's people that really represented in 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 like a full full way. I think we just mm. we're just individuals that are just part of it. Like, there's a lot of people doing like a lot of things right now, and I'd say your 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 culture right now. <laughs> you see what you're doing, like the interviews you're yeah. putting together. So I think. There's no one who can really say they fully are culture. We just have, we just play our own part in it. You know? Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. That's very, very true. Okay. Yo, guys, this is the end of our first segment. We are going to move to the second segment where I'll be asking Lebu more about everything he does. Yeah, basically. Left for dead, now we rise like the sun in the morning. You cannot kill determination. I was six feet under, but I made it to the surface. I take a knee, I thank the Lord, open a couple verses. Hey, hey, man, hey. To the blessings, bitches out here go digging, praying for all these blessings. Hey, hey, we come to hell on earth. This place is far from being clean, bro. It's got hella dirt. Dust stayed off your shoulder. Remember, you a soldier. Don't let them see your struggle. That's when you push your hustle. Push it into. Hi guys, welcome to the second segment of I Collect Thrift. I'm still chilling with Lebu, and now I'm going to ask him about his business, Jersey Vintage Plug. 
So Lebu, how did you come about Jersey Vintage Plug? Uh, when I used to stay in Malvo, I used to, I think when I first, you know when you're in the hood it's different, like I've been, I've been, I've been dressing in the hood like from a while ago, but when I moved to Malvo it was different, it's like you wore what most people in that area wanted to own and wear. So I just got hit up by like a lot of people that also asked me like, where did you get your, where did you get your shit, where did you get your shit? And then I started having clothes in my backpack every time someone asked me where did I get my shit. And then I just sat it on the spot. And then I bought a rail. And then I used to, I used to uh, put up my rail outside this charity store. It was like a popular charity store in Malvo. So every time they closed, I'd put up my rail because I knew there'd be people coming in there looking for the same shit. Mm, mm. And then she found out then I couldn't do that anymore. And then I thought an Instagram page. It was initially just to showcase what I have, but mm. people would hit me up and ask me, was it for sale and shit. And yeah. then like randomly I started putting up like the shit I used to have, like my old shit. And then people bought it all. And then a lot of thrifting for for people, I think. And then that's where Josie Vintage Black came about. Mm. Just not even knowing you're gonna end up selling, just started <laughs> just like that. I don't know, that's crazy. Yes. Um, knowing that there's a lot of thrift stores around, what sets yeah. your one apart from all the other ones? I mean, like right here, there's. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it, You see, like when I started selling, I was, I was selling everything, like branded stuff, non branded. But then I started realizing that branded shit moves quicker. Mm. And then I just stopped selling non branded shit. I still do, but it's like I won't put it on my page. So what I do is I make sure you guys don't get what I sell. So I wake up like super early and I have like a lot of places to go through. Mm. And I collect as much dope shit, like pieces, like rare, rare, rare pieces. People are fascinated by like brands. So yes, there's a gap for that. So yes. you just... You play around with yeah, that. Yeah, play around with that. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. a lot of high ends. That's, that's very... And that makes it unique. Yeah, yeah, like, it like you could find unique. anything there, but it's like people... The streets. Not, not yeah. like necessarily like we, I don't even sell to people on the street. street I yeah. sell to a lot of kids in Cape Town, a lot of kids in the north. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <are> like because <laughs> if I sell to you, like it's different if I sell to like people like you that 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 buy through mm. the prices I sell it is not something you're gonna pay for. Yes, you know? I sell according yes. to the piece I have. Yes, and not according to how much I got it for. Yes, yeah. yes. yes. So okay. I think that's what sets me apart from other thrift stores. Yeah. Yeah. Hype. Not even hype, just hype. making sure you have all the dope dope shit. Like when you have the dope shit, everyone's gonna come running to you. Definitely. You know? It's like Definitely. if you if you have the best weed, everyone's gonna buy your weed. <laughs> for real. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So talking about the future of creative fashion, yeah. Do you think Okay, let me not say fashion, but like, let me say streetwear. Yeah. Do you think the culture is moving forward? What's, what's your take on it? And what would you like to see? You know, you know it, it, for me, like, it's still the same as like, like before, like, when Manti and then came up. It's just that now there's a platform where people can showcase this shit on in Instagram and then it makes it easier for you to have a reach. Mm. But it's still like you can have all the cloud in the world and not make money off it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. So it's all about, it's still the same. It's all about what you do with, with your hype, what you do with, with your skills. With the, and your skills, the people you yeah. know, the people you're around. Connections. Yeah, like yeah. It's, it's still the same. Like the industry, I think, runs, it runs the same way. It just keeps on changing, but the business module is the same. Mm. Very interesting. But, but things have changed though. Like there's more diversity there's more definitely yeah it's like the culture it's not even culture but like it's i think it has to do with fashion more than anything fashion has brought like everyone together like white kids indian kids chinese kids mm. if you go to brown now you it's, it's more diverse than it was like a few years ago you mm. never really see white people mm. in brown it that connects much people, yeah it you know? connects people definitely yeah you still taking as like Clothing connection already, yeah. 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 Combo community. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was nice having you here, Lebo. Yeah, I really enjoyed speaking to you. Yeah, we're gonna do it again. 
definitely like next time like you guys must just you know yeah next time i have my business partner here Ah, I can't wait for that one. Yeah. <laughs> See, let's have a... yeah. Okay, guys, it was nice being your host. Ish, it's sad that I'm leaving now, and Ish, I'll see you next time. Bye. Let me push your hustle, push it until you make it. My nigga, you will make it. I love this shit so much, I hope it makes it to the playlist.